Welcome back to another Torch Review. I have the Astrolux MF01 in for testing today, and this was sent in via Banggood for a review. So we'll go through the usual procedure, having a look at what's included. You do get uh, quite a nice uh, protection on this torch when it comes in the post there. You'll see there's quite a lot of padding on it. Also have a fairly beefy wrist strap. This has a clip on it as well as a ring, so you can attach that to the base. You have four points where you can attach that to the torch get a couple of spare o-rings included and we have a thread here for a quarter inch tripod mount which is standard tripod mount for most tripods that you come across just screw that in and looking at the torch I've put the dimensions on the screen and the weight bit of heft to this as you would expect although being the soda can style torch it is quite compact and pretty good fit in the hand as well the build quality on this feels pretty good no complaints nice machining has a sort of matte finish and you'll see the 18 XPG3 LEDs there is um, another option there for a neutral white a warmer white tint if you want and these have uh, optical lenses over each LED as well as a glass anti-reflective coating a stainless steel bezel so nothing feels compromised in terms of the build on the torch at least as far as I can see compared to some of the other models that I've looked at and the switch on this is um, it does stick out a bit and doesn't require a huge amount of pressure but you do have a lockout function on that you see the flat edges as well on the base we just unscrewed that so you can have a look nothing to see there on the inside part of it. threads are greased up on this though has to be said and you can see the contact point at the top might have gone with slightly thicker threads but a very small point on that and this is the uh, battery cage for want of a better word you have brass top and bottom it's quite solid well made and you have the springs you'll see that there is a warning about uh, reverse polarity it doesn't have reverse polarity protection on this torch but due to the contact points there you can see it's surrounded by plastic you can't actually uh, easily put the batteries in the wrong way so you need to use the button top cells with this so your normal flat top ones you could use a magnetic spacer on those if you want but the normal flat top ones won't fit as you can see here, I have some Samsung 30Q uh, button top INR cells. I'll be doing a test on those later on. There's an EFEST one as well. I'll also be doing a test on that. So these are the cells that you want, ideally, and then slot them in. You can run two batteries on this or four, so you have a choice. You do need the high drain cells, though. Don't try and use the normal ICR uh, lithium cells. They're a bit tight anyway. You can't really fit them in easily. You need the high drain ones for these because of the power output. Doesn't matter which way you put this in. Just slot it into the body and then screw it up. Nice tight fit. And you'll see that you have the breathing LED light. That's also uh, there to tell you that the torch is active. You can, if you twist the base cap, you can see that it's done a mechanical lockout. I also unscrewed the head, so you can have a look at it there. So you can take that out, and this is the drive and circuit board. Just a quick shot of that, so you can see that if you're curious. Here you can see the battery level indicator. We'll cover that a bit later on in the user manual. That's quite a useful feature to have. So we we'll just run through the user interface. It's very simple on this torch. Have no complaints with it. Single press for on and off. A long press for off and you can just single press again to go through all the power levels and it remembers all of the settings including the turbo strobe is triple press and then single press to cycle through the standard strobe SOS mode as well as the beacon so you have all three included on this it's not essential but it is a nice extra touch to have I quite like the beacon myself now you have instant access to turbo and it's on or off with a double press but there isn't an instant access to the low mode but you do have that mode memory this is the lockout so you push and hold the led switch for a few seconds and then the led light will go off to let you know that it's in lockout mode and then again reverse that and it will take you back to the normal operation as far as the ui goes pretty happy i might have put the turbo mode at least the top end mode uh, as a double press just to separate it because you have to cycle through the power levels as far as the um, 
in feeding in the hand and the build overall quality i'm pretty happy with this it's just a quick shot to show you mounted on the tripod no problems but i would have preferred if it was raised up a little bit extra just to make it flatter with the tripod uh, base plate i also have the anti-roll design so it doesn't move around it, it's fairly stable and obviously with a torch like this with a flat base very stable for a base stand there's a quick close-up showing you the uh, battery led indicator on that so that changes depending on the battery voltage and that will depend whether you have two or four cells. Now run through the user menu, you can pause this if you wish. Covers the UI that I've just explained. Also has the voltage feature and detection there. For once it makes uh, sense and it's nice to see to have a nice manual on this which is very clear, large font, easy to read. So they've done a nice job on this and this covers just through the spec you'll see here. We'll come on to the output a bit later on but the lowest mode is quite a bit lower than the rated 100 lumens. This is just a quick shot showing you if you want to use the magnetic spaces you can just make sure that you push it down before you insert it so you don't knock the spacer off. With the water resistance test I didn't have any issues at all. No problems at all submersing it. And we're going to run through some of the beam shots now. You'll be able to see here going through in the low to the turbo mode. This uh, torch definitely has a bit more range than some of the other soda can style ones. It has a bit more concentration in the middle. So you do get a bit more throw with this torch. If I compare it to something such as the Olight which I reviewed last year. That has, I'll just do a quick shot there, that has a very spread out beam pattern, the Marauder. So I'd say the power output is pretty close between the two, just a different light pattern on them. So we'll run through the beam shots and then come back with a few thoughts at the end. <laughs>
should be able to see from the beam shots that I included quite a few there that this does have quite a nice range on it as well it's not just all spread out so it's quite different from some of the soda can style lights particularly the O-light that I looked at which just puts everything out at a very wide even almost pattern so if you're looking for something that has a bit more throw this could be quite interesting it has to be said in terms of value for money you're going to have to add in batteries if you don't have them and a charger if you don't have that but it's quite a bit cheaper than some of the top brands and you're not really sacrificing anything in terms of the quality not that I can see anyway um, the design and the build only thing that I would have changed would have liked to be able to use the flat top sill so have the protection built in also drop out the turbo or the high into separate modes so you don't have to cycle through those and just update the user manual the lowest output is a lot less than 100 lumens which is good because that means that you don't have to uh, for up close work you don't have too much light so i'm glad that they did that just to update the specs so that buyers know that but in other areas very nice little torch uh, impressive output good build quality you have that tripod mount as well and excellent value for money so thanks for watching the review do let me know what you think of this if you've used one or if you're thinking of buying a torch like this i'll catch up with you in my next video review very shortly